Mexican word of the day, eclipse. Make sure that when you put on your seatbelt, eclipse. That's when you know it's fastened correctly. Drive safe, homie. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Pour favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so today's today's stream, today's episode is going to show just because you have your education, you have your college degree, doesn't mean you're a bright person, all right? I have two examples here. Now, first up is Congresswoman... Sheila Jackson Lee, step right up, lady. Step right up. Now, this bright person here, believe it or not, she went to Yale. What? She majored in political science in Yale. Now, I believe that she's an affirmative action hire. In 1972, there was not that many black folks in Yale, so they had to push somebody through. So she won the prize. All right? She also got her J.D., at somewhere in Virginia. So she's a lawyer, political science, and let's take a listen of her talking. I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the streets. Yeah, yeah. This is Sheila Jackson Lee, guys. She's a House representative. She's been in office for forever. Okay. Nobody likes her in Congress. She's a bully. She's a meanie. A matter of fact, she's so mean that she had an aide working for her. And she berated the young man so bad that dude ended up deleting himself. Let's take a listen. Okay, where is it? What, what date was it? All from yesterday. Jerome took it upstairs. I have to call him. He took it up when I switched out the picture. I'll call him. I, I don't want you to do a goddamn thing. I want you to have a fucking brain. I want you to have read it. I want you to say, Congresswoman, it was such and such date. That's what I want. That's the kind of staff that I want to have. So some stupid other motherfucker did it. You, and, and I don't have the information. Nobody sent me the information. I need to uh, ensure my um, schedule. And, uh, you know, if, if Boo Boo did it, shit ass did it, fuck face did it, then nobody knows a goddamn thing in my office, okay? Nothing. I gave it to you. Your job was to get it on the calendar, imprint it in your brain, or send me the information back saying, Congresswoman, I made sure that the Ovide Duncan Tell event that you gave me uh, for so-and-so date at 7 is on the fucking calendar. Not to oh Jerome Hansen, okay? So when I called Jerome, he only me sit up there like a fat ass stupid idiot talking about uh, what the fuck he doesn't know, okay? Both of y'all are fuck up a fucking F. It's the worst shit that I could have ever had put together. Two goddamn big ass children. Fucking idiots. Serve no goddamn purpose. They ain't managing nobody. Nobody's respecting them. Nobody gives a shit about what you're doing. And you ain't doing shit. And this is an example of it. I gave it to Jerome. This is not child's work. Okay? Yeah, Sheila Jackson Lee. Okay, so now that I laid the table of what we're dealing with, Miss Yale, Miss Political Science major, went to a bunch of high schoolers during the uh, eclipse. All right, she had to come around and show how smart she is about the eclipse. And let's take a listen of this genius here. Will be the closest distance that the moon has ever been in the last 20 years which means that's why they will shut the light down 
because they will be close to the earth. And Dr. Simmons, I didn't go too far away from the scientific explanation. Is that correct, hopefully? All right, so I was, I was near it. The solar system is bigger than us, though there are uh, solar systems uh, and there are systems that are smaller than the earth. Still, we are in a solar system, and we depend on the earth, the moon, and the sun. That is our existence. That is what creates uh, the, uh, our, our desire for creativity, uh, our music, uh, our weather, our rain, our snow, our cold, our heat, that solar system working. Some of you are going into engineering. This is what engineering is. We have yet to know whether you can live on the moon. But I don't know about you, I want to be first in line to know how to live and to be able to survive on the moon. That's another planet which you're going to see shortly. You're not serious. Get oh the glasses God. on, I'm getting ready to blow the whistle. When I blow the whistle, get out on the field. Get out on the field like you're going to find your own space, your own heaven. It's going to be one. I can't see. She can't get the she can't get the eclipse glasses on. See, there's some things I didn't know. I didn't know that the moon was full of gases. I didn't even know it was a planet. But thank you, Sheila Jackson Lee, Miss Know It All. Thank you for enlightening us. Whew, Lord have mercy. Now, the second one, the second dummy of the day, is another lawyer. Sonny, Sonny Houston from The View, come on up. Come get this L, girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This one is also a lawyer. What? Right? She's a co-host of The View, and this is not the first time that she made gaffes on the show. Now, by judging her, you wouldn't think she's a lawyer because she's a little cutie pie. I bet when she was younger, she was something hot, you know? Yes! But now, when she opens her mouth, you think she's smart. The moment she opened her mouth, she removes all doubt. I mean, I have to say, um, Karen Dupiche, our, our wonderful, oh one my of our wonderful makeup artist, when the earthquake was happening, she put her coat on and she was like, Jesus is coming. I'm so out. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. Down the she ran down the hallway. The and rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Although I love for the, the first time in cicada, cicada. like no, no, 100 tomatoes, years. No, 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 no. Two That's, different, no, two, no, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two different, there's times, two different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad But no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, you know, maybe you know better I, but in I a way say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists that's more or something point. is or or going going returning <laughs> <laughs> what the f sunny now this one believe that earthquakes and the solar eclipse is because of global warming I am like dumbfounded. You know? <laughs> now, I, I know that the view have writers and I don't know if they, they put that in her cue cards. Nah, nah, nah. That just, it came out too, too natural. That's her. She's a dumbass and she's a lawyer. And you could hear her talking when she tried to make a point and then Whoopi always, you know, the eclipse, they've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. So all these folks who are saying, you know, it's a sign from God. God doesn't give you warning. <sighs> Even though Whoopi's not smart either, but Whoopi's loud and, and you know, she got that. She's a hyena. So she always shut her down. And, and there is Sunny. I, I don't believe why she's still on the show. Because she's not strong. She, her vocals are not strong. Her opinions are weak. <sighs> but that's what we got here. Jesus Christ. Two dumbasses. And that proves a point. Just because you have, in a degree, women. Just because you have a um, higher degree. Or you went to have your master's or your PhDs or your doctorate. Doesn't mean you're smart. All right. Now I know 
I know, I know. I'm I'm not the best with the Queen's English either. I stumble and fumble my words, but I did not go to college, okay? I'm just a dumbass. I went for the school of hard knocks, okay? But you ladies, you paid people to teach you Sheila Jackson Lee, and you talk like a fucking vagabond. Sonny, you talk like a ditzy blonde. But hey, shit. Knock yourself out. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you ladies, get off my lawn.